We could very easily end up in a world where there's just one organization that is developing this completely general purpose, highly powerful technology. You know, it costs hundreds of millions of dollars for the um, kind of computer chips that you'd need. And so that means that already there's only a handful of companies that can afford to kind of get into that game. There's also kind of a broad economic um, feature of AI that it has, it has these massive economies of scale. Um, and also like AIs produced by different companies are like pretty similar to one another. You know, economically speaking, those features tend to favor um, a kind of a natural monopoly that kind of serves the whole market. I think there are some political factors that could lead to centralization of AI development as well. People have also thought it might be good for AI safety to have just one centralized project so you don't have racing between um, different projects. Um, there's also some AI specific reasons. This idea of recursive improvement, AI will kind of be able to fully replace the technical workers at um, top um, AI developers like OpenAI. And so when that happens, whoever kind of automates AI research first gets a big speed boost. Once we get to a world where it is technologically possible to replace those researchers with AI systems that could just be fully obedient in structure and following AI systems, then you could feasibly have a situation where there's just you know one person at the top of organization that gives a command, this is how I want the next AI system to be developed, these are the values I want it to have. Um, and then the kind of this army of loyal, obedient AIs will then do all of the technical work in terms of building the AI system. And so you know, pulling that all together is to say that there is a plausible scenario where there's just one organization that's building superhuman AI systems and you know potentially just one person that's actually making the kind of significant decisions about how it's built. And and even if they, they, there's kind of an appearance that other employees are kind of overlooking parts of the process, there's still this risk that someone could, you know, secretly have a side project which does a lot of technical work, is able to like have, you know, a significant influence over the shape of the technology without anyone knowing anymore.